The world is watching. Draconian orders have been issued this week to prevent peaceful assembly and free expression. And police and military presence on the streets has grown progressively over the last several days. Following violent clashes with police on 9 February, at least one woman is in critical condition. Pro-military and nationalist groups have also taken to the streets. Let us be clear. The indiscriminate use of lethal or less than lethal weapons against peaceful protesters is unacceptable. More violence against Myanmar's people will only compound the illegitimacy of the coup and the culpability of its leaders. For over 20 years, successive high commissioners and many eminent experts have briefed this council and its predecessor on violations committed by the country's military, which includes some of the most serious crimes alleged under international law. Lack of action to address them has emboldened military leaders and contributed to this present crisis. The reckless actions of the military leadership raise the specter of a reimposition of broad sanctions on the country and could threaten many years of development gains. We recommend the strongest possible call for the military authorities to respect the result of the election, to return power to civilian control, and immediately release all individuals arbitrarily detained. They should have prompt access to legal representation and medical support, and specious criminal charges should be dropped. Internet and telecommunications restrictions must be lifted to allow media freedoms and access to information through the Internet.